Hi, my name is Derek Bailey and this is uh, my blog DerekABailey.com Just a quick video how to hide your affiliate links in links on your website or your blog and how to uh, effectively do that to stop people from seeing your affiliate or Clickbank IDs, URLs etc. Now you can see I've got a um, screen up of my blog here and you can see I've got a banner here uh, free monthly uh, websites now at the moment um, if I were to I don't know you can't see the bottom of the page here so I'm gonna have to do it this way just a bit restricted to this capturing software so what I'm gonna do is right click on the on the banner and I'm gonna say copy the link location so you can see what that link is gonna link to I'll open up a new web page on here and paste that link so at the moment that banner links to uh, www.derekabailey.com forward slash recommends forward slash free sites okay so we'll go back to the blog now if I click on that it takes me to free monthly websites.com index page so this is the index this is the page I want uh, uh, my customer to go to to actually purchase the free monthly websites uh, product now if they go ahead and get the free stuff and then um, uh, opt in for the for the uh, one-time offers and buy the one-time offers I get a commission via the affiliate program attached to this product so no one actually sees my affiliate URL throughout this whole transaction it's not viewed here it's not viewed down at the bottom of the screen where when you highlight a link it actually shows you the actual true link none of its viewed anywhere and I've done this by four lines of code which I've attached to a file on my FTP uh, fire FTP on my hosting account so I'm gonna bring up now now by the way I'm shooting this on an Apple Mac computer so uh, my preferred uh, operating system and, and computer now you can do exactly the same things on anyone that's using Windows as well the client that I'm using at the moment is called Transmit which I'm going to bring up now so I'm already logged in uh, to my FTP onto my hosting into my public HTML folder and within that folder you can see I've got a folder here called recommends which I've created and within that folder I have my folder for this particular product um, that I'm promoting which is the free sites folder so when I double click in there the only thing that's in there is an index PHP file and the contents of that file is quite simply four lines of code as you can see here basically puts points the the person to this page your affiliate ID so whatever your affiliate URL would have been to link to that page that's what you replace that with there and so that way it cloaks your real affiliate ID from being put into a standard blog link as you would do normally you can make up whatever you want as as what I've done on this page I've just made up a link um, that goes to that folder I've not even added anything on the end of it uh, so that can completely cloak your affiliate URL no one can see it I mean for those of you that might have got what's actually going on here from my um, ramblings uh, just drop me a line go to my go to my blog uh, get my email address uh, drop me an email to admin at derrickabailey.com if you want me to send you the four lines of code um, and uh, you can put that onto your site one word of warning um, the actual file needs to be called index.php for this to work okay and it must be exactly as you see here as well and then that will redirect I mean you can always test it out with a with a few pages from your from your blog or website that is it basically oh one other nice little feature of doing things this way is you know sometimes you get someone who wants to be really smart and thinks um, oh actually what happens if I just take away the free sites bit and see if I can actually see the contents of your recommends folder when you do that this is what you see now your default um, hosting hopefully should be set up so that it will just show you uh, the contents of a folder now what happens here is because of the index PHP file and the way it works is if I now try to drill down into this free sites directory 
thinking that I'll be able to see the contents of that directory what will happen is when I click on it it just directs me straight uh, just does exactly the same thing as the link would have done in the first place so that person still gets redirected over to the, uh, the, the website that you want them to go to anyway okay that's enough for this first video uh, hopefully I'll do some more videos um, uh, based on you know using the Mac I, there's been a few emails that I've had recently from people that uh, want to know how can I you know do all my internet marketing uh, considering that I'm using a Mac and what are the best tools and uh, utilities that are out there free and paid for that I can get so if anyone you know wants me to do some more of these videos uh, that are using uh, Mac based PCs and, and want to find out some more information as to where they can get tools from drop me a line, drop me an email and I'll try and see if I can get some stuff put together for those of you that uh, want some more information. Okay, this is Derek Bailey from DerekABailey.com. Thanks for viewing.